Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shella Malosan. On today's bulletin, police clash with a tout in Bulawayo. Norton's water woes persist. A comedian is bringing laughter to news bulletins. And the Black Rhinos win a major soccer tournament. Police in Bulawayo have clashed with a tout, bringing business to a temporary halt in a section of the city. Eunice Faraday gives us the report. Bulawayo police and towns were sacked into a tense battle recently, grinding business to a halt along Jason Moyo and Lepo Takawira Street in the city. Tensions were high and public at the scene expressed anger over the harassment of the tout. ATV caught up with Bryce Gumbo the tout who narrated his ordeal at the hands of the police. An eyewitness also shed light on what transpired at the scene. <laughs> Another spectator criticized the police for their alleged harassment. The core home affairs minister Teresa Makwene was quoted in the media recently saying that it does not bode well for the image of the nation if the police are at the forefront of assaulting and harassing people instead of protecting them. The police in Bulawayo declined to comment on the matter. I'm Eunice Feleza reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Norton Town is facing crippling water shortages amid fears of another fresh outbreak of waterborne diseases. Margaret Chirairo reports. Water shortages continue to hit Norton, about 40 kilometers west of Harare, amid fears from residents that if the situation is not addressed, there could soon be a serious outbreak of diseases. The water situation in the satellite town of Norton remains critical amid reports that some areas have gone for 12 months without the precious liquid. ATV spoke to some ratepayers who are bitter about the water shortages which have forced them to rely on water from unprotected sources. <laughs> The residents put the blame squarely on the Norton Town Council, which they say was not doing enough to address the water crisis. Residents are threatening to stop paying rates until the water problem is solved. The water challenges which have dragged for a long time are now a cause for concern and residents say there is need for urgent 
measures to be taken to prevent disaster in the town. Norton Town Council official declined to comment on the matter. Reporting for ATV, I am Margaret Chirairo, Norton, Zimbabwe. A Harare-based comedian is bringing news from around the globe in a fresh and humorous way, leaving listeners in stitches. Jairo Saunyama gives us more. Pane saune ya KPC sa iyo ya itika, panusa nga na mga guwane roti, pane mabasko roma tatu, arova na ipapo, rimu inacho rambara vira. An Epworth stand-up comedian is taking Harare by storm with his slapstick comic news bulletins. Shingiri Rai Mutizwa, who is popularly known as Torio Pito by his fans, is cracking jokes at bars, wedding parties and other social events with energetic news punchlines. ATV caught up with the comedian who narrated how it all started. He was a footballer before venturing into comedy. The comedian holds an average of 10 shows per month, with every show costing an average of 150 US dollars. His talent had seen him performing at various national events and other celebrities' functions. Toropito is now the measuring stick of all stand-up comedians and he is incredibly in tune with media terrain in Zimbabwe. Reporting for ATV in Arari, Zimbabwe. A Harare women's football team won a tournament which was held recently in the Midlands provincial capital, Gweru. Melody Mukuti reports. Black Rhinos Women's Football Club were crowned champions of the just ended Louis Mujara Women Football Tournament after narrowly beating Inline Academy 2 1 in a match played at Mkoba Stadium in Gweru. Black Rhinos walked away with a floating trophy and coach Thomas Chinyanganya was excited about their victory. I'm happy for the girls. Okay, they've done, I mean, well under difficult conditions. Why? Because we have played three games, I mean, in success without rest. So for this achievement, I think that's a very, very good achievement. Inline Academy came second after beating Botswana Giants double action 1-0 in the semi-finals. Bulawayo based New Orleans came third after putting up a good show in the semi-finals. The organizer of the tournament, Louis Mujara, said the games aimed to promote the girl child through sports. And we, as the LM auctioneers, we only supporting girls and promoting them and putting them on another level in terms yeah. of supporting them and putting them and seeing their growth and um we we have been inviting teams from other countries like um uh, botswana but uh, we are with a vision of in, uh, involving teams from malawi zambia south africa namibia and mozambique louis mujara tournament started in 2010 and this year's theme was making a girl child smile through sport reporting for atv in blawayo zimbabwe Thank you for joining us. Have a good evening.